All songs written and performed by Freeze the Fall. Any unauthorized duplication, copying, rental, or public performance of this recording is a violation of applicable law. Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Now, welcome back to my channel. Listen, now that I own the Freeze the Fall CD, which is sitting right here, um, I need to listen to One Left Standing. And I figured we could do that today. I know there's an official music video, so we're going to watch that. But I just feel like I have no way to play this album besides on Spotify. And I don't want to start like shuffling the playlist of all the songs on the EP until I hear them all. So One Left Standing is the last song I need to hear, which is very exciting because, oh wait, I haven't heard Grief. Okay, I'll do Grief next and then I'll be able to shuffle. For now, I just have Masquerade, Glitch, Broken Glass, and Daughters of Witches on a playlist that I listen to at the gym. <laughs> and I love it. I love all of those songs. So I'm sure I'm going to love Grief. And I'm sure I'm going to love One Left Standing. I'm going to ask Freeze the Fall if it's okay to react to Grief. I know they haven't released it um, on their YouTube channel, but I feel like I could react to it, right? I feel like that's fine. Why isn't the CD closing? Oh, you know, I don't miss this about CDs where you have to like make sure it like goes through those little slots i'm just being difficult today this is such a fucking cool cd like i can't even deal it's so pretty i love the laws on the back too all songs written and performed by freeze the fall any unauthorized duplication copying rental or public performance of this recording is a violation of applicable law all rights reserved now son i deal with lawyers all the time at work and i deal with a lot of contracts so like follow the law people it's not difficult especially in the music world. Although I'm fairly certain I'm breaking a lot of laws by being a reactor, so. Ruger wants to say hi, so let's just let that happen. All right, let's watch this video for One Left Standing. I can seem to find a use for my time.
so nice. I love that ending. I have to say, the guitar at that last part with the drums and the bass, like that was perfection. Oh, I love that sound. Freeze the Fall knows I'm a sucker for an outro. Ooh. Cute. Okay, I, I love outros on songs. That was beautiful. I was not expecting a slowish song. Although this is not a very slow song, it's still their slowest, I would say. Fire. Absolute fire. I think it's great. I think it's so wonderful. The lyrics are good. The vibe is good. The thing is, is that I would kill to hear this in an acoustic setting. I think it could be such a killer slow song. Like, Quinn's voice is just phenomenal in this. And the thing with Quinn, and I feel like I should be talking directly to you, Quinn, because I know you watch these videos. I feel like you use your head voice in places where you don't really need to because you can still hit those notes in your chest voice. So I'm so curious, like, how you guys figure out vocally how to sing these songs. Because when you're in your head voice, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely gorgeous. And you don't want to always be constantly in your chest voice just like screaming the song. So I get why the head voice is placed in certain places. But I feel like a lot of people use their head voice because they can't hit notes, but that is not the case here. So I'm curious and I would love to know vocally when you guys write a song and you decide, okay, we're going to sing it. This is how it's going to be sung. Where and who and what and why? <laughs> who decides like how you're vocally singing it? I'm just so curious because I think the head voices were placed perfectly and the chest voice was placed perfectly as well. I wouldn't change a thing vocally. It's gorgeous. I have to say the heavier bits at the end were my favorite. I think this song translates so well into a slow song, but it still has that heaviness and that grunginess that I crave in rock music. So... I'm obsessed. I think it's great. Aria, I love how they filmed you in this one. I loved the close-ups of you singing. I loved your hands on the bass. I just think that needs to happen more. I want more close-ups of Jonah and Aria. And I know you guys filmed all these music videos in one setting. And, you know, it's pretty much all similar. But you tried to make it look as different as possible. And I appreciate that. But in future videos, I just want everyone to shine a bit more, you know. But not hating because guys this album is fire I, I just don't think you guys get it I'm so impressed and you guys know I don't lie on my channel like I would not be just blowing smoke up your booties and being like oh my god you guys are amazing like uh I'm upset no if you if I didn't like the song I'd be like guys I'm not a fan can't deal with it like you know how I am but this is fire I really want to listen to grief now because you know, not every album like EP that a new band slash artist comes out with is phenomenal. Like I just did my full album reaction to Chapel Rowan and there are some songs I didn't like. Not shocking. She's very 80s pop, but for a rock album, I have to say I'm just shocked how much I love these songs. So I'm really excited to listen to Grief and dig into listening to this whole album through the way you I'm just really excited to listen to grief and then listen to this EP in the order you guys presented it in because I think that's really important so I just don't see the point in doing a full album reaction since I know every song already except now grief um and you know I four of them I've done reactions to so listen I'll be doing grief very soon and then maybe I'll just do a video on my thoughts because I feel like this album needs to be seen and heard by so many more people. You guys are killing it. So proud of you. Can't wait to see you live one day. Very excited. I wish I was wearing my Daughters of Witches hoodie right now, but I'm obsessed with it. And I'm so thankful for you guys even writing me a little note uh, on this postcard. That was really sweet. Wasn't expected. I don't actually think it was this postcard. Was it? No, it was another postcard, um, which I have. Don't worry. I'm going to, I'm going to figure out this background because it's driving me nuts um but thank you guys so much for even thinking of writing me a note when i didn't even tell you i was ordering anything but that hoodie is fire it's so comfy and it's so pretty and i love snakes so it works well 
All right, guys, if you haven't checked out Freeze the Fall yet, not sure what the hell you're doing, so go check them out. And if you're lucky enough to live in their city, go watch them live and support this band, please, for the love of God. Because I can't. They're too far. <laughs> guys, my vinyl of the day is Lana Del Rey, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. I reacted to this album because I didn't get a chance to listen to it when it came out. I was too busy having a child. And uh, I'm so glad I reacted to it because I feel like and I haven't obviously watched my reaction, but I remember listening to it. I just feel like you could see me falling in love with this album more so than I thought I would because I've heard Chemtrails Over the Country Club, the song. And I was like, yeah, the song's fine. It's not the most amazing Lana Del Rey song, but there are some mm, gems on this album. So I highly recommend it. If you're a Lana fan, go check it out and I'll see you guys in my next video.